Hello guys, thank you for joining me today. I need to warn you in advance. This video might be boring or it might be interesting. It's a topic that really, really interests me. Um, either way, welcome aboard. And basically we're going to talk about narrative. Narrative, oh good lord. You probably want to strangle me right now. Go ahead. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so narrative is, it's a huge topic far too big for one video. However, I will say that we will concentrate on one or two particular areas and that's with regards to narrative video games and how we should interpret and how we should approach one's appreciation of narrative within video games, within gaming. Because it's a hotly debated topic and it has been for the last 10 years or so, probably even longer. The narrative in itself has been a topic of discussion since the dawn of humanity, since the dawn of mankind. It's really nothing new at all, and that's something I hope to get across in this video. So we have to start somewhere, and that's, I think, we should tackle the, the difference between the concept of narrative and the concept of stories, because the, the two terms are used interchangeably, and that is a big no-no. No, 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 no. There's a big no-no for me. There is a huge difference. But, well, it's very, very subtle. Though it surprises me the number of people who do use the, the two terms interchangeably. Story is basically just a sequence of events, while the narrative recounts the events in greater detail in the lead-up and so on. And it's as simple as that. So now we've got that out of the way, we need to talk about video games. Gaming, yay! This is why you're here, isn't it? So, video games are still in its relative infancy, it's still a baby, Oh, it's not very old, the golden age of video games is supposed to have happened in the 1970s, I don't know, I'm not that old guy, so, <laughs> but yeah, the 1970s, and well, that, that's not very long ago, compare that to the golden age of Hollywood, which came about during the dawn of sound in film, which mysteriously Dick, um, sorry if I'm wrong, but I believe it's 1928 or 1929, up until the 1960s. So straight away, if you look at film and movies and cinema, you will see that they have a vast amount of experience, especially compared to video gaming in general. Uh, and of course, with greater age comes experience, or so they say. <laughs> I'm not sure that's true in all cases, but, uh, but in this case anyway, yes. Um, film has had a huge head start when it comes to being able to manage narrative for their particular industry and it's very very interesting we'll explore that later on so the issue really is how we should interpret narrative when it comes to video gaming now there are some academics within academia who believe that uh, video gaming narrative is very unique it's unique to such an extent that it is totally separate and independent of the narrative that we have seen before. You know, the narrative that we've seen with other entertainment industries like film, movie, theatre, uh, which include things like vaudeville, um, music, literature, and so on. It's so unique. We are very, very special. We shouldn't appreciate, we shouldn't be using their terminologies, their definitions or anything. We are special. <laughs> That's the impression that I get because of this idea, this notion that video games and the, the interactivity that the entertainment form provides cannot be replicated by any other entertainment field. So when you actually partake within, I'm talking about video games here, when you actually partake within a sequence of events, you are actually partaking within the actual narrative itself. That is part of the narrative experience that's unique, apparently, to video games. And then there are other academics who believe, no, 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 it doesn't work like that. Narrative is all-encompassing. They are all related, they are intrinsic to one another in one way or another. And that is the viewpoint that I strongly adopt. Uh, firstly, because the the previous notion that I that I just gave disregards the history of you know those other forms and how they managed to deal with the issue of narrative, and secondly, narrative is just a form. It's a form that can change its shape. It can change its you, you know how it adapts, but it essentially remains the same. 
And it, no matter how you look at it, no matter where you look for forms of narrative, there are always areas that you can see the similarities between these things. I mean, for instance, if we were to look at the differences between television series, how they're created, how their narrative structures are created to revolve around advertisements, advertisements, and compare that to film, for instance, which is totally different. It doesn't have to take into account adverts. Maybe at the very, very start, you know, before the, the film actually gets shown. But apart from that, during the actual movie, there are no adverts. So, you know, there's a slight difference there. Though they are related in some way or another, if you look at other parts, which I won't go into. And it's the same with video games. And another thing, another point that I want to raise, is that there are many people who wrongly believe that if someone were to read a novel and to reimagine what they are reading within their own mind, um, that in itself is no less interactive than the interactivity you find within, within a game. And that's what some people forget and wrongly believe that video games and their narratives are a special case. Because when, I, when I'm talking about video games, interactivity and narrative, the interactivity of video games is one of the core aspects of what makes video gaming narratives. It's, it's particular to video games. As I was saying before, the form is the same, but they adapt and they evolve depending on the actual format. And with video games in particular, this is the way that narrative structure is formulated and this is the way that it basically plays out, no pun intended. Uh, and it's as simple as that. So, you know, I don't really want to go to, in too much detail about how narrative works because we'll be here forever. But it's my view that narrative it permeates throughout every single one of these uh, these entertainment forms, these, these different mediums and um, they just basically change depending on the situation and depending on um, the audiences and uh, various other extraneous factors but they are nevertheless they are all linked in one way or another and also that narrative is simply a form that can be broken down to its base constituents so you know for instance like linguistics or or semiotics can be broken down into its base uh, components we can understand then how narrative works and once you begin to appreciate that you realize that video gaming narratives is unique in its own way but it's nothing that's totally new it's still as i was saying it's still intrinsic to the to the core aspects of what makes narrative in the first place so i've tried to make this as basic as possible and so the argument is, how should we approach that? Should we be learning from the ages, you know, learning from the history of the ages, the history of those those forms of media that have somehow managed to draw their own conclusions? Or should we impose some sort of isolation upon ourselves and uh, work on the presumption that narrative is in no way related to those forms whatsoever? Which is kind of ridiculous because I, I envision, I'm actually thinking about a group of people sitting around a table during the dawn of cinema or during the silver screen arguing about you know how they should approach narrative and how they should differentiate themselves from the narrative of theatre and whatever it's just ridiculous that kind of thing would ever have happened you know they would have simply have things would simply have just happened Whereas now, with video gaming narratives, oh no, we're so special, you know, it's, we are unique, we are particular, you know, I want to get my name out there first, so this is my theory, this is my interpretation. It's stupid. To disregard the past, to disregard that sort of thing is just nonsensical. Okay, so guys, feel free to provide your views. This is Tatsu signing off. Until next time, I'll see you later. Goodbye.